Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so today, this video might be a long one um, because we're not only going to build this engineering hull, but we're going to complete the assembly on the entire ship. Now it's gonna st start off pretty straightforward. We've painted this silver, we've light blocked the inside. So the first parts can be the same thing we've done with the saucer and the nacelle. We're gonna glue in the windows, we're gonna glue in the LEDs. Uh, but then we're going to work on this clear part for the landing bay. And then before we can join the two halves together, we're actually going to have to connect the pylons, the nacelles, the wires, and hook them all to the circuit board and close it up um, as a final assembly when we glue these two halves together. So once again, starting off very simple, uh, we're just going to be gluing in the windows. And I wanted to kind of show kind of how crisp these windows are and how good the molding is. We'll go do a little bit of a black background here. And once again, I'm painting all of this chrome silver so I don't have to mask off the windows. If I do have to mask off anything for painting, I'll do a big piece of masking um, over this entire section. I'll use these grooves um, kind of as my masking lines. So this entire panel will be protected and safe from painting, and that will let me clean up the front and the back of the neck without getting anywhere near these windows. So even with uh, about three layers of paint for the light blocking, the window goes on perfectly. and is very, very clear. So you can see there's no gapping, there's no cracks between the clear and the silver plastic. So no small finicky pieces in this assembly. We have one, two, three, four, and five large clear plastic parts that will provide all the windows. They all fit in right up against the hull. Uh, so no problems there. So we're gonna glue these down and then we'll move on to gluing in the LEDs. While the glue is drying on that, we can work a little bit on assembling these nacelles. And so they have a channel where you're supposed to run all of the wiring from the nacelle down to the engineering hall. All right, so I have kind of figured out how to get these wires to lay flat uh, within this pylon. And you basically pull them up against this wall here. So this first one, you can kind of pull tight and it's not really laying flat in there, it's standing upright. The next one is going to go right up against it. Just like that. And the third one up against it as well. So you can see all three strands fit in there like that. All right. So that's how those wires run. And you can see there is plenty of room in there. As long as you have them kind of neatly lined up like this, you'll be able to close that pylon around it. I've glued together the pylon halves and I've glued it in to the nacelle. Now I really don't need to do much masking here since it's gonna be the same color as the nacelle, but I, I have masked off kind of the big areas here because I would hate to just get any of the chrome silver on that blue or the clear red bassard, uh, but now we're just gonna paint those chrome silver. I have masked off um, on the one I'm painting, I've masked this part off because I'd really like to leave this big joining surface free of paint so the glue can really hold very well. I'm also taking the saucer back to chrome silver and I've kind of taken off the rings that were the darker color uh, because on this build, we're going to be doing those darker parts with the Aztec decals. So back to silver for the saucer.
All right, this is the next piece I'm gonna work on. I am masking off parts of this clear piece um, to have kind of the lit landing lights. So the first thing I did is I laid down two little stripes here of masking tape. Those are gonna be clear. After that, I brushed over it with red on one side and I'm gonna brush over it on the other side with green. So I'm gonna mask off the red. And with this masking tape, I've laid it on my hand a couple times so it's not as sticky. Now I'm going to lay it over the red. The, the reason I want it a little less sticky is I don't want it to pull up that tiny stripe I've already put on underneath the red. All right, so we've masked off that red. Now we're just going to do a little bit of clear green on the other side. Here's that shuttle bay fully masked off. So you can see we've got what will hopefully be a lit red square, lit green square, a couple clear lines beside it, and on the edge, uh, you can see that we have done um, some green in the middle, red on either side, and we've masked that off. So hopefully we'll get some red, green lights at the end. Now this is an effect I really, really hope uh, I can pull off. It should be really cool um, if it works. So I, I'm very hopeful and I'm very excited to see how that looks. Now on the inside, you get an LED that gets glued right to that clear part. So it gets glued in and shines down here at the bottom. Um, next in this part, you have an LED facing up and an LED facing back. Here's the other side, and it follows mostly the same structure. You get one LED shining up, and you get one shining forward. So on the other side, it shines back. On this one, it shines forward. So this, I'm very excited to get all this together and see how well this works. I'm very excited to see how this works. I'm excited to see how the four LEDs work in this space. Now, I've light blocked it, and I've taken it to white. That should really help spread the light around. And four LEDs should be enough. The one thing that this has kind of going against it is that there's going to be a lot of wires running through this hole. Uh, but now, um, now it's time to really do the full assembly. And our assembly is going to start off by starting to get these wires from the pylon into the hole. Remember, you've got to get that little label through so you can tell where to hook it to the circuit board. All right, that's a nice fit. Goes in well. The wires fit well. Yeah, there's, there's just going to be a lot of wires fading through that hole, so we'll see how much light shines through. I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to lay down some super glue and put it back in. Now, you've got to be careful not to get super glue on this edge. So if you do, make sure just to get scraped off. You also need to make sure that you don't have any super glue, extra super glue, in this um, opening here. So make sure you scrape out any extra glue in here. And that's because when you finally join these two together, uh, this tab from this pylon will go all the way across the hole and go into this groove. And this tab from the other pylon goes all the way across the hole and goes into this groove to lock these two halves together and keep those pylons from drooping. Now, once it's time to start joining the hole together we want to make sure uh we want to make sure wire f comes out the top that's the one that's going to join with um the saucer section so we're going to lightly tape this one up here to keep it in place next f is going to come out the side e We'll plug into the socket on 
D to join those two together. So that connects the lights in this half of the hull with the lights in this half of the hull, and then they go out the front to the circuit board. And then we should have six wires from the pylons all heading out the front as well. All right, there are all eight of our wires that need to go out the front. We just need to get this closed around them and we can start gluing. I've mostly put the two halves together. Now we're gonna start spraying uh, the shovel bay to light block the parts that aren't going to be lit. Alright, to connect the saucer to the hull, we're going to have to connect the plug from the saucer into the socket from the neck and push that junction back up into the saucer. Alright, quick change of plans. I wasn't able to push that into the saucer, so I'm going to try and move it in to the engineering hull. It's long enough, and I haven't glued the engineering hull together, so I should be able to squeeze that in. It's time to make the final connections. So we have threaded the circuit board wires out the hole for the stand. And now we're gonna do our final connections. This time we are gonna press them in um, until they click because hopefully we won't be undoing them. So it's just a matter of checking the label for where each one of these goes and plugging them in. Right, now that we have everything connected to the circuit board, we're supposed to be able to just fit all the wires and the circuit board back into the ship. <laughs> That's not bad at all. You have to do some modifying to the stand. Uh, you have to remove two of these braces and cut a hole here in the bottom for the wires. And that will give you room for your battery box to fit inside the stand. All right, now that the ship is glued together, we have our first look at the model kit completely assembled. And it's a good looking ship. It is really a fantastic update to the classic design from the 1960s. Uh, this is probably the best modernization of the USS Enterprise that we've seen in recent years. So here's a good shot of that engineering hull that we have just completed. And we'll get a few different angles here. All right, and here we have the ship lit up. So you can see that the saucer has very even lighting on the portholes. You can see that we do have this lit navigation dome, the bridge dome is lit well, and we do have some good lights on that engineering hull and especially the neck. Here's a rear shot so you can see the clear piece for that shuttle bay is working. Um, if you mask it off, you can get some light shining through on those fantails. Good impulse engines, really nice effects on the warp nacelles, so a nice blue glow down the side and nicely lit rear engines. And you can see even that little registry spot has some good light to it. All right, and we'll try and get in on 
that fan effect for the warp nacelle. Here's some of the lights on the nacelle. Of course, the fan. You get a couple extra blue lights here. And of course, you have um, the little lights for the registry on that nacelle. And here are those fantail lights uh, from another angle. So really, I think round two has given us a fantastic model kit here. Um, I think I'm probably biased because I absolutely love the design of the Constitution Starships, uh, but the model kit itself has fit together well. The light kit has been very easy to use. Simply glue it on to the standoffs they've built into the kit. I think it lights it really well and in almost all the places you want it would want it to light. And the accuracy and detail on this kit is absolutely wonderful. Um, I think it's going to be a very, very clear winner. Even as it is right here, I feel like we could do a little bit of detail painting, put on the kit decals, and you'd have a model you could be really proud of. Um, of course, they do actually have one more add-on product, which is going to be the Aztec decals to add that really complicated hull design for the ship. And we will be using those on this channel. So if you want to see our video on the Aztec decals, make sure to like the channel and subscribe to the channel uh, because that will be the next set of videos we'll do. The video is about unboxing the Aztec decals and actually using them on the model. As always, we really do hope that these review videos give you some ideas on what you can do for your own build. It gives you an idea of what the kit does, what the official lighting kit supplies, uh, so you guys can really start planning out your own builds. So if you have any questions or anything you want to see in the next video, make sure to put it down in the comments. Thank you guys for following the channel. We'll be back with more videos soon.